most of you have probably already heard by now, but for those of you who haven't, in an interview with IFL TV, Eddie Hearn has come out and said that Nathan Cleverly will fight for the World Light Heavyweight title in his next fight. That's right, despite the fact that he lost to Tony Bellew at Cruiserweight and his most recent fights have all been at Cruiserweight, he's somehow getting a straight shot at the Light Heavyweight title again. Despite the fact his last fight at Light Heavyweight was a knockout defeat at the hands of Sergei Kovalev. You know, rankings in boxing are pretty much make it up as you go along. There really is no official system like they say there is. They just add rules and subtract rules as it suits them. It's very political and this is another example. Nothing against Nathan Cleverly, seems like a cool guy, but I think it's fair to say there are far more deserving challenges for the world title than Nathan Cleverly at this particular moment in time. Now, in terms of who the world title shot's going to be against, it won't be against Kovalev, obviously, because Kovalev's fighting Pascal, and I don't think Cleverly at this point would want to go straight back in with Kovalev anyway. It's most likely going to be Jürgen Bremer and possibly Adonis Stevenson, although... I don't really, you know, think it will be Stevenson, but it's possible because Stevenson does have a voluntary defense before he has to face the winner of Kovalev Pascal. So it could potentially be Stevenson, but more likely it's going to be Jurgen Bremer. Now, Jurgen Bremer is beatable. I think cleverly, despite the fact that his confidence is not what it was a few years ago, I think he can beat Jurgen Bremer. Jurgen Bremer had a hell of a lot of problems with the guy that Stevenson just knocked out when he fought that guy a few years ago. And that's when the guy was a lot more inexperienced than he was when he fought Stevenson. And Stevenson dealt with him relatively easily. Bremer actually was, <laughs> it was touch and go at one point in that fight in the 10th round where Bremer was going to get stopped by that guy that Stevenson, Stevenson just knocked out. So I think cleverly, and I know Styles make fights and all that, but I think cleverly does have a good chance of beating Bremer. But the question is, What's he going to do once he beats Bremer? If he does beat him, what's he going to do then? He's going to hold a world title. Is he just going to avoid Kovalev for the rest of his career? What's he going to do? Maybe he's hoping that either Pascal or Stevenson beats Kovalev and then maybe tries luck at fighting Stevenson or Pascal. Maybe he's just waiting to see how it all pans out. But I don't know. It's a strange situation. Once you've been beaten so comprehensively by a guy like Kovalev, you want to go and fight for another title in the same division. Where are you going to go from there if you win it? <laughs> you know, so drop your comments below, people. Let me know how you feel about this whole situation in terms of cleverly getting a world title shot. Who do you think it's going to be against? Will it be Bremer? Will it be Stevenson? And how do you like his chances in either one of those fights? Uh, what's he going to do if he does actually win a world title? <laughs> you know, drop your comments below. Let me know how you feel. This is Hatman. I'm out.